In this video, we'll look at unpivot. And what we have is a CTE. We are creating a table as shown here within a with state statement, uh, which is produce and it has columns product, quarter one, two, and quarter four, quarter three and quarter four. And we have two records. So first product is scale, second product is an apple. And we run this line we see that this is how our table would look like. We have one, two, three, four, five columns and uh, the name of the vegetables in the first one and then numeric values in the four quarter columns. Now, if you need to unpivot this, that is to convert this particular table into a format where we have the products column retained and we convert we put all the values in another separate column and then we put the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 in a third column. To do that, what we can do is this. So let's comment this out. And here, what we can do is use the unpivot statement. So we can type unpivot and then within parentheses, we need to uh, specify this information sales that would be the name of column that would contain these numeric values that we have and then for quarter so quarter would contain the categorical values which are currently the column names q1 q2 q3 and q4 and in we specify the names of the columns that we would like to unpivot now when we run this particular set of code we should be able to see three columns so that we have the first one is product then we have sales and then we have the quarter so sales as we said would contain all numeric values and quarter will contain all the categorical values or uh, such as the column names that we have here from q1 through q4 that's one way to unpivot a table there's another way where we can uh, split this quarter as well into uh, additional groups so let's see how we can do that in this third option we have the same setup for select star from produce which is the name of the table or ct that we have from the width statement above unpivot and then again we have open close parenthesis and same for and in uh, uh, list uh, written inside of the parenthesis and before for in earlier we just had the sales one column now we have uh, uh, like of a tuple in python we have two values written first half sales and second half sales and to match with this inside of in again we have two separate uh, sets represented here as semester one and semester two separated by a comma so q1 and q2 are uh, in semester one and q3 and q4 are written as semester two when we run this we see an output table that will come up here where we have the product column as we had before and what we have done is for the q1 and q2 we have relabeled that as semester one and that's what we have here and for q3 and q4 we have labeled it as semester two that's what we have there and the values numeric values for uh, q1 q2 q3 q4 are distributed in these two columns first half and the second half so that was it for this video on unpivot in sql if you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.